guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I actually was going to film a productive college day in my life, and then all of a sudden, I got an email from my professor. Now, I used to have an American history class that was at 8 a.m. on Tuesday and Thursday, and for the past couple of weeks, we haven't been having the class because my professor is having some health concerns, and obviously completely understandable, and I hope he's okay, but I was getting anxious because I didn't know like what was expected of me of the class anymore, so I just got an announcement that we didn't have class again today but in the announcement it says change of instructor now we're like three weeks into school so that's kind of stressful obviously it's understandable but now like a whole new syllabus is on blackboard so basically my new professor he basically reached out and just said there's a new revised syllabus on blackboard all the homework that you did do doesn't count basically he's saying and that our first homework assignment is due on Thursday so that's fine I have to now like relook over the syllabus and make sure that I understand it all but that was the only class I have today on Tuesday. Then I had a doctor appointment that I had to go to, which I obviously was not going to film. And then I had a job interview that I had to pre-record and then put it up to the site. That was actually kind of stressful. It was all like leadership-based questions. I learned that a lot of these interviews are. If you guys don't know, I am a senior that is graduating this May and I am an accounting major and I'm really trying to finish school with 150 credits so I could take my CPA exam. Now, a CPA exam is very, very hard I'm really stressed out about that but I'm trying not to focus on it until the end of the semester just because I'm going to get really stressed out when that comes but basically what I was saying is the job interview requires 150 credits and I believe I would start in October but basically I submitted the interview and now I just have to wait to hear back and hope that everything goes smoothly but with all that being said one of my best friends birthdays is on Friday right now it is Tuesday September 21st and her birthday is the 24th so basically everything that's going on this week is number one I'm at Target because I have to get my friend a gift now I don't necessarily know what I'm going to get but I wanted to come to Target because there have been these braids trending on TikTok and they're called bubble braids and I needed poly hair ties to actually do the braid so that's why I came to Target I need to get some gift bags that I can give her I'm actually not going to be here for her actual birthday because I'm going to a music festival I'm going with my friend Ariella you guys know her she's been on my channel before she's one of my best friends and I'm going to Connecticut to pick her up and then we're gonna come back here go to New York and go to GovBall and I might vlog that I'm not sure yet Target and let me just say the Target run today was not very successful so I'm going to quickly go through everything that I got and then I have to do a plan two. So the first thing that I got is just some popcorn kernels. I love making homemade popcorn and I don't know it's like one of my favorite snacks and I consider it healthy so I ran out of those and I wanted to get them. Then I did finally find the poly bands that I was looking for so they look like this and basically if you guys don't know what bubble braids are they're trending on TikTok you basically take a piece of your hair and then you put a hair tie here and then you'd like put the hair ties going down your hair and then you pull your hair out of the braid kind of like to loosen it and I don't know it looks really cool so I wanted to try those out then I got some tissue paper for my friend's gift I know she likes blue so I decided to get blue and then I just got a happy birthday bag and that is legit everything that I could find so the birthday bag just looks like this I thought that the blue would match so that's kind of cute but I didn't get an actual Actual gift because I had no idea what to get so my plan now I have a class assignment that I have to do in a little while that I'm going to do and then I might head back to school I'm not sure so I'm home right now because I had my doctor appointment and I don't know if I should stay in my hometown tonight and then go to school tomorrow I have a business policy quiz tomorrow that I have to take but my issue is I have another doctor's appointment in the morning so I'm thinking maybe if I stay in my hometown go to the doctor's appointment and then head to 
school that would make more sense rather than head back and forth to school just because it is a 30 minute drive but my issue right now is I need a gift so I'm going to go ahead go to another store see if I could find a gift hopefully I can I'm thinking since she's turning 21 I'll just give her maybe like a bottle of Tito's or something like that and then like a gift card so I might do that I'm going to go to Walgreens and see if I could find some candy to put in the bag as well I just went to Walgreens and I got some stuff. So I basically just got some candy and stuff that I could put in the bag as like fillers, I guess. So I have Sour Patch Kids. Then I got some gum because I know that she likes gum. So I got that. Then I got some gummy bears. I love these gummy bears. I think they're so good. So I got these and then I got a $15 Dunkin' gift card. Right now I am going to go home. I do still have to get the Tito's that I want to get, but I'm not going to get that until closer to the day it's Tuesday her birthday's Friday so I'll probably get it on Thursday I also got my nails done yesterday and I love them look how cute I've been seeing this all over Pinterest and I wanted to give it a try I just thought it was really cute so now I'm going to go home I have some stuff I have to do for school so I'm going to get started on that I just got home from running my errands and now I'm going to look at my computer and try to review my American history syllabus. I don't really know what's going to be different so I'm going to look at that now and see what I have to do. See if I can answer some of the questions that I have for homework now and kind of get a head start on it because like I said it's Tuesday and it's due on Thursday. So I'm going to try to do that right now and see like how much is different and I guess we'll go from there. I just reviewed the syllabus and looked at the question. The question looks very easy. It's basically just based on the reading, which is kind of less stressful just because I know what I'm doing. The syllabus is so much more different than my other professors, but it doesn't look too bad. It's just your normal test exams and just homework assignments, so that's not that bad. Other than doing this homework assignment, the only other thing I have to do is study for my business policy exam. We're learning about like industries and kind of like like firms and stuff like that that I have to review and I basically have to know how to analyze an industry which isn't the easiest but it's really not the hardest thing so I'm going to teach myself that study guide me and my friend worked on it together it's a midterm quiz for my business policy class like I was telling you guys before it is a lot of information and it's really stressful so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue studying for a little bit because I don't know a lot of the information and my quiz is at 11 a.m. tomorrow and it is currently 3 40 p.m. the day before so I have to get a move on that and like learn the information a lot quicker than what I've been doing it's not that hard but it's just a lot to know and it's only a quiz so it's kind of stressing me out a lot but other than that I have a lot to do still I just printed out my study guide that I was showing you guys and I'm going to like go over it highlight it a little more later my head was starting to hurt from looking at the screen for so long but that's basically everything it's about like five pages back in front which is kind of annoying but I need to learn it right now I understand it all I just have to actually memorize it all right right now I really want to try out those bubble braids so I think I'm going to try and see if I can do it. I've never done it before and I think it would look really cool So I'm going to try that out before I go and have some food So I hope I can do this. It looks so cool on TikTok, and if I can do it I'll be so happy because I want to wear the braids for gov ball I think it would look so cute with my outfit Okay, so I know you're supposed to take a little bit of hair and I know that it's easier if your hair is dirty But I'm just gonna hope this works anyway, and then I know you just put the one hair tie in your hair I really hope this works works because I think it would look really cool but I really don't know how to do it so let's see if I can get it to work Sunshine, never mind. Oh, bring me all of your gray skies. the moonlight never seems so bright until it's the only source of all of your light oh someone's calling it's not me there scream and talk about your destiny but sunshine never mind 
know if this looks right. I think I did something wrong. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look right. If that makes sense, I might leave it in to see if I like it because I think the issue is I just need to take more hair. But I think it's a cute style and a good concept that I could use for the music festival, so that's really good. I have decided to leave the braids in because I'm going to try to force myself to like it. I really just think I messed it up, but I'm going to try and tell myself that it looks fine. Right now, I'm actually going to make this popcorn because I've been craving popcorn and I'm not really that hungry. And then I'm just going to go somewhere with my friend to study. I'm gonna go make my popcorn, have my popcorn, and then go. I think we're going to go to the William Patterson campus. I'm not sure yet, but I'll keep you guys updated. currently waiting outside my house for my friend to come pick me up. I really am not feeling the hair. I'm trying to get myself to leave it because I think I can make it look better. I might take it down though. We'll see. I have my study guide. I had my popcorn. I might have dinner later. We have to see how I'm feeling. But for right now, I will see you guys when I'm at Panera and or Willie P. I don't know which one we're going to yet. So I'll let you know when I'm there. Just picked up Panera and going to Willie P now. I just got back from studying. Studying went well and it's around 7.30 now and I'm about to go to an Orange Theory class so I just have to change. I'm wearing this I Love You Say back sweatshirt and then my Lululemon leggings. So I'm gonna change out of my sweatshirt and put on just like a sports bra and a shirt and go to class. I just got back from the gym and it was a very hard workout but very happy that I went because I haven't gone in a while and it was nice to kind of be back at that gym and just get that type of workout in. Right now I am going to do my gratitude journal. So I really like to do gratitude at night and just like write down things I'm grateful for and everything like that. And I usually just like light a candle, kind of like get in the mood and then I'm going to go ahead and take a shower. 